I also want to add my cautious uh, voice as well uh, to those who suggest that the act of commemoration can never be reduced to an event. Well, just to start with the theatre of memory, the theatre of memory is the baseline for us because it's, it's essentially uh, highlighting that tension between narrative, between history and between fiction. And I suppose uh, mm. in what Richard Carney was saying and what our president was saying, how, which is the best strategy? You know, should we be reenacting history? Or is, uh, and where does memorialising come into it? And where does fiction come into presenting work? And I suppose that, that even the title of Theatre of Memory, in my view, is kind of a contested, a contested space. One of the really interesting things that came out of last year's symposium was the idea that art is not just an ancillary way to understanding history, or it's not just an additional lens through which we can see things, but it's actually fundamentally necessary in terms of helping us understand by reimagining, reliving, and reanimating our past. And that's something that came through really strongly in the Carney paper and indeed in our, our president's paper. So that's something that has energized us, I think, as well, in terms of being able to include artists in that debate from the very outset. What we're mindful of is what the historian uh, Jay Binder spoke about, which is beware of national exceptionalism. So this year, the Theatre of War Symposium is looking at a, at a global perspective. What you expect over the three days are panel discussions with artists from Rwanda, Burundi, Palestine, Colombia. You'll see performances on the stage. You'll see keynote lectures by established and uh, world-renowned uh, academics challenging and looking at all kinds of perspectives around history, memory, the theme of war and conflict all wrapped up in a challenge to us of how to uh, commemorate St. Tina's. Well, we discovered last year that we had an extremely broad audience. Many of them were not traditional theatre goers. So if there is such a thing as a general reader, I suppose this is, this is for them. Mm -hmm. It's something that has appealed to people in all different disciplines. It's not something that's purely related to theatre. And it's, I think, of interest to us all uh, as we're going through the next decade of centenaries to think about how art and social context connect. <laughs>